day hello this is martin from secrets the channel for learning about trading and investing welcome to markets next week this is analysis for july 30th for the week that's starting from tomorrow 2023 and um, if you don't subscribe subscribe right away and share to your friends and colleagues so that you don't miss out on any notifications on the weekly analysis that happens so basically we would be looking at the charts and uh, try to analyze and understand what happened in last week and how the price patterns and technical indicators are behaving and then try to predict and come to a conclusion on a market view for the next week and then you know that will help him get more clarity and uh, you would have a plan before you start trading for the next week so let's get into the chance right away and you have uh, the Irish candle that is formed uh, this week on the nifty on the left side and right side bank T, even more bearish wide range bearish you can say weekly candles that you're seeing and it's consolidating because the price is very much within the previous candle inside the previous candle bar so it's consolidating it has retraced it's facing resistance all this is indicative of uh, this uh, price pattern that has formed in the weekly charts and daily charts if you see you can see that there's a retracement uh, as part of the consolidation uh, you can clearly see four five days from red cans out here last week it was um, if you look at the last five days you can see it pulled down rose up met resistance pulled down again and then taken support actually it's closed it bounced from the 20 exponential moving average support and then bounced up but closing about that so which is awesome and this is a zone of resistance previous resistance and that is acting as a support now so that's a change in polarity concept that's seen on both the dice so a bounce up from here is very much possible that's what daily cancer indicate. now look at the Bollinger bands it shows a contraction of the bands which indicates a sideways move with a bullish bias because the price is still above the 20, 20 moving average which is the median of the Bollinger bands same with the bank T also the contraction of the sideways price action is very much evident on the daily charts Bollinger bands are saying that and it's a bullish bias since because it closes above the 20 exponential moving average in the bank T as well Moving ahead, this is another view of the weekly Nifty in the Bank Nifty charts that you see left side Nifty. Uh, left side is Nifty and right side is Bank Nifty. For the heading that's given there. So it's another view of the resistance. So we can we have marked a zone here, which is almost the top of that um, uh, top of the parallel channel, the trend lines that form the parallel channel on both indices. You can see that on the Nifty it is facing the resistance uh, to go and hit or move out of the panel channel it's facing zero resistance there so that could be indicative that you no know, it has hit the top of the channel and then need some more time to retrace and then pull back and consolidate before it heads back to the top of the panel channel once again so it's a clear resistance on mark several weeks back and the also it's not in the top of the channel even midway of that it has missed resistance and you can also see a Fibonacci extension 61% is very crucial. Anything above 61% would be real, real breakout on the upside or downside. It's a breakdown, real, real breakdown. It's 61 retracement or projection uh, uh, downside, right? So this is an extension. You know, price could move further up after the previous swing low and then retracement and then move up. So that extension targets beyond 61 is weak. It's exploding the bullish that has not happened at so it is at 61.8 of Fibonacci is very important so it's that cushion form where the bank fee is facing resistance right yeah. so both has its own reasons that's what it's done so now another view of the weekly charts you can see that there's a flag pattern that is there on both indices the flag breakout has happened placement happened it's a rounding pattern cup pattern breakout cup and handle pattern you can see the dotted lines and so multiple bullish pattern breakout is what is happening it's on the way you know nothing has gone wrong with respect to the price pattern on the medium term as far as bullishness is concerned so all right that's what yeah look at support resistance for on the daily charts for the coming week now the first um, resistance above would be the previous swing high of 19867 after that 20,000 rounding number nearby zones nearby have an all-time high also very close by three points now 20,000 rounding one would have profit booking and heavy resistance out there and support downside the major one would be would be the uh, not 20 moving average expansion average which is at 19400 nearby so 525.7 and 
After that, you have a gap support that sits there at 19300, 19200, and 19000 rounding number, 19085. All these ones are supports. We have the 50 expansion moving average also coming there. That's what downside versus supports and resistance is. Right. Now, the back nifty, obviously, the all time high would be the first resistance. Before that, 45, 6, 55 would be a zone of first previous resistance, which moving above that and closing above that also would be positive. And then, after the 46, 369, you have 46 final all time high, 46 final rounding number zones, and 47,000 so are resistance upside. Downside, 20 expansion moving average is coming at 45, 300. So, maintaining that as happened last week, but next week, the bridge of that and close below that. Would be bearish otherwise it maintains the consolidation or maintains uh, the supports downside um, after the 20 expansion moving average you have 44 800 supports and then 44 500 supports also which are all previous in lows okay? and 50 and the 200 dma is far away at 43 42 500 zones and 100 dma is at 43 600 zones all supports increase in crash down it happens those are the support resistance for the bank nifty daily charts that you're seeing now going ahead let's see the momentum and the trend we are using rsi for momentum indicator used for trend analysis adx they my positive and negative is what we are doing we analyze both time frames of higher weekly and lower uh, daily charts for the analysis for the next week now we can clearly see that the weekly momentum has dropped definitely but it's still bullish medium term and still pretty short term also so both time frames medium term intact absolutely bullish itself the bullish momentum is there in the short term bank nifty has slightly slipped into the sideways one but otherwise nifty is still bullish and also has a positive reverse divergence which is bullish in nature which indicates that it can take a support at rsi 16 bounce from here so slight slip of bank nifty momentum uh, slip into the bear zones has happened but otherwise momentum although has cooled off a bit last week is still in the bull zones how about the uh, trend Trend also is more of the same. Bank Nifty has crossed over the trend in the short term. You know, well, that's on the daily charts to the bear zones, but they are negative zones. But otherwise, it's all bullish in higher time frames on both indices. Between Bank Nifty, trend is also intact except the Bank Nifty short term momentum and trend has slipped. Let's analyze the volatility. There is something strange here. Ten point one three is historic low. Only three times it has fallen below the ten point five in the history. That's several years back 2019 or something if you take the monthly charts you can see that so this is historically low volatility right that's a that's one thing second thing is the volatility indicator of wix yes is uh, there's a variance there is a con contrary move that has happened the price is moving down the wix should have also moved up but instead the wix also moved down which indicates probably this down has happened with last week May not sustain and next week it may come back. That's what you can assume based on the past records. Now another third point on the India VIX is that whenever the VIX is at very, very low levels of 10, which happens very rarely, the bounce will be very sharp. Big you know, percentages of up move can throw people out of their persons in the you know in the loss uh, area. So you have to be extremely careful when the VIX is at very very extremely low so having a VIX which is very high and having a VIX which is very low both are dangerous for option traders especially so we can be very careful on that right if it is 12 15 all this low all this it's fine but if it's below 11 and below 10.5 there is very high risk zone it is actually so but otherwise VIX has actually um, moved contrary to what the price has moved right so uh, that gives a hope to the bulls that the pro probably the down move that happened may not just Now when you analyze the futures open interest you can see that it's a short covering which is a bullish in nature Open interest for the futures for the Friday's move is short covering so that's bullish But open interest on the options for the next week expiry the weekly expiry that's August 3rd is indicating not bullishness It's not bullishness neither is so bearish it's 0.68 and 0.62 it's far, very far away from both bearishness and bullishness. It's midway, sideways is what indicates the call ratio. Right? So, some of all the puts in the calls, you know, with option riders are done. So, that's you know, how we analyze that. So, overall, you know, Friday's build up of the future is positive, but options are is sideways. And VIX is, you know, having a variance in with the market move. So, I'm cautious on that. Look at the levels 
resistance is dominating both charts you can see nifty in the bank in the left hand so the levels that we can read from this chart is that nifty has got the highest support that is at 19600 very close to where it is bad now 30 40 points down so and the highest resistance is in its 19800 right there. the second highest support is in 19500 not very far away it's a very narrow range but the second highest resistance is seen at 20500 so narrow range for the support so uh, so that does not give any clue it does not um, say it's bearish or bullish but very narrow range for the where the option writers are you know, finding a support resistance. Bank Nifty, 45,000 triangles are what um, option writers have sold. But this was the highest put as well as called highest support and resistance. Both are at 45,500. Second highest is 43,500 and very far away 46,000 is the second highest resistance or option call writing is free. Right. Points, right? So that's what um, very narrow tight range uh, of option writing for the August first week is what you see in options. But it's not um, bullish enough as per the put call ratio and as per right, what we can read from the data. Now, next we're going to analyze the different sectors, industrial sectors, you know, how they perform last week. So, in nutshell, nothing much has gone worse than last week. Very small uh, down move has happened in the IT and the FMC, very small 1.4% lost, 1.3% lost in the IT and the FMCG, right? So, otherwise. The metal has made big up more three percent five percent move in reality big up moves in metal and reality has happened and they remain the bullish zones they're ready for any long long trades all the sector also is bullish form also is bullish although the momentum has dropped you know it remains bullish from the momentum perspective on the medium term long term so id and the fmcg is um, has to be moved out of your long trade for the time being until the momentum catches up but otherwise metal reality auto and form remains with the bullish so not big hit backs has happened last week right there are some sectors that remain that leaves the market and that could take the market further up and not all of them are down so analysis you know this is started the pattern that you can see there and if you can see it is uh, in a you know in a consolidation box uh, it's still there try to break out and happen met the resistance and then falling down you know resistance also can be seen as hitting the rsi Climbing above that and then falling into the sideways so moment. Metal has given big point range bullish candles, moment has climbed and certainly let the bullish zones on the medium term as well. Although facing resistance, three consolidation long candles, but it's absolute in the bullish zones on both time frames and the trend is also bullish. Pharma is showing very big wide range, three percent of wide range bullish candle and it's definitely in the bullish zones, no doubt about that. FMCG just like the auto is facing uh, some resistance and red uh, hammer kind of candle, but it's actually the bullish zones. Remember, auto and FMCG were leading this until a few you know, days back, or until last week, or the week prior to that. It was auto and it was FMCG that was leading the market. Now they're taking some rest while pharma is uh, taking the chance, and reality also is taking the chance. Look at the move the wide range bullish candle on both pharma and reality 3% and 5% move moment. The bullish, absolutely. Next, we'll analyze in the heavyweights industry or heavyweights for some of the stocks that contribute maximum to the Nifty index. HDFC Bank continued to be in the sideways zone, consolidating within the range since a very long, long, probably two years now. It's doing the same thing. It's a bearish down move. Momentum is in the sideways falling, slipped from bullish zones long back, and then it's unable to break out of that. That's what sideways HDFC. The market is rising up and doing all this without HDFC and imagine what if HDFC also joins the match. Then it will be big breakouts that may happen the moment that happens. But to compensate for that, Reliance is showing bullishness, wide range bullish candle, going bullish, consolidation, breakout attempt and about the breakout. This may be good long trade, push less less short term trade opportunities seen there. Moment is bullish, trend is bullish, price action is consolidation, rectangle consolidation, breakout zone. And tight stop loss. Long trades could be rewarding. ICC Bank bullish, absolutely all time high levels, but uh, last week it was a hammer. Could this hammer be a, uh, the end of the trend? No, no, but it's in a ascending wedge and it's almost near to the end of that. Probably it may go a little more up towards the top of the channel and then retrace, but absolutely bullish zones. ICC Bank is bullish, Lens is bullish, just to the sideways. ID stocks got hit back last week, it's unable to break. 
outdoor at least trees and pull back it's feeling a lot of resistance a lot no, you can see that in TC is also where it's bullish candle and this candle on infi. So, ID is you know, unable to break out, although it showed some signs previous weeks of coming back, but should not happen. Kodak Bank, as usual, it has been zigzagging in that within that range. There is more wide range bullish candle by the moment. It was slipped in the side, this is what you can see. ITC, the star, has traced after a long time, it has hit the resistance after. A Horrific rally, you would say. Now there is a bullish positive rose divergence. There is possibility that it can bounce up from here from the momentum perspective. Not confirmed, but yeah, there is a positive rose divergence that you can see. But otherwise, it has given up a lot of uh, uh, it's gain following some fundamental news of uh, some uh, demerger or something that is planned. You know? But otherwise, um, the charts are indicating you know, clear bullishness, a lot of supports downside, and uh, it is only 50% of projection that has happened from the Fibonacci extension, so longer to go from here. No, 6 500 could easily come in for uh, in the short term on the ITC. So, ITC is holding the market, and the ICC Bank is holding the market, and Reliance is holding the market, and it's all sideways and uh, consolidating. Right? That's just natural of what the industry rates are doing. Now, institutional parts, especially for CFIS, have been selling 3,000 crores from the cash last week. That's a selling that has happened after several weeks of continuous buying. Still, they're not sold too much. Now, that is the time when the DIs were profit booking has now come back to buying 5,200. So, institutional support is still a good thing. Don't need to sign if I has moved down slightly last week. But yeah, if I has turned selling, of turned to be sellers, net sellers in the cash after a long time. Of you know, holding the market, so it's a bit of worry, but there's yeah, so a matter for it, and then institutional support remains to be there, is what you can understand from the data. Moving ahead, analyzing the global markets and global quantities and the currencies would also, you know, give some hint on where, where we are heading uh, because we are all interconnected. It's all it's a global um, market out there, and we are just you know, we, are, we are part of that. You know, we will also, also be analyzing the US markets, which is the mother market. Sorry, so dollar moving up on 1.7 and sideways momentum. It's a cup and handle, and it was falling down that climb back, bounce back, and then again, once again, on the top of the uh, support. Now it's acting resistance. So, let keep a close watch if it's, if it's going to break out or not further and form the cup and handle, or is it going to consolidate more? So, the weekly chart of the US, US dollar index is what you're seeing there. So Dollar has climbed up, bounced up last two weeks. While they use the NR of the currency pair at 0.3% uh, up, they to 0.2. And remember, it's an ascending wedge and it's it's getting narrower and narrower. And we're not too far from the all time high. So, rupee remains to be weak, uh, is, is a short story. Crude oil is uh, mm, uh, moving up. It's concern for worry. As long as it's within this parallel channel, it should be fine. Uh, otherwise, we have trouble. But it is okay, but 90 and 100 if it gets, then we have trouble again. Considering the fact that the rupee remains too weak, but momentum is sideways and rising, not into the bull zones, but it's big up more that's happening since the last four weeks. So I'll be cautious, but yeah, it's still a relief that you know, food oil is not spiked above the 90 100 levels. Now, look at the gold that's seen there, it's come and handle pattern, it's facing resistance, but no gold is not ready to fall down, it's uh, consolidating it's sideways. Moment that's happening, it's uh, falling from the uh, bull zones uh, from the momentum perspective and forming the cup and handle. But um, yeah, people you know, gold is still strong. Right. Global markets, what do you see? So, gold is dip a little bit consolidating, um, oil is moved big, and this uh, dollar also moved up the last two weeks. So, this remains weak, and the US market is up and green. 0.70 up on Dow Jones, S&P 1% and 2% on Nasdaq. Look at this chart. It's all an ascending wedge breakout attempt is what is happening on all three. Right side, left side you have Dow Jones, right side Nasdaq, downside S&P 5. All are playing out with S&P. It's probably is bull zones on all. So it gives a hope for our markets as well. Before that, before we wind up with two stock picks for the next two action for some stock picks. One is JMR Infrastructure. It's a very long multi year rounding pattern breakout confirmed. Weekly candle closed above wide range bullish candle momentum. Bullish volume is a decent high and um, trend indicator also is my positive and rising up. So 
So good risk reward trade uh, which can be trailed up to 64 nearby levels. Exit at the end of at the low of that candle that I broke last week. So momentum breakout, rounding pattern, bullish momentum and trend. Data communications another pick. It's a consolidation breakout. It's clearly confirmed. Big volumes. On the bullish, there is a small negative divergence that is you have to be cautious on that, but otherwise it's in the bull zones. On the trend bull zones, price patterns breaking out. Wait for a pullback here before entering. If you get that, then that will be good. At least half mid of the handle or 25% of that handle. If it pulls back or you know, consolidates somewhere, getting the entry in target for a 2%. Right? It could go up to 2000. So it's a cup and handle, it's a cup or rounding pattern breakout. And big moves, big volumes, and big momentum and trend. So two stock picks, GMR infrastructure and data combinations. Now another action up for the next week is the Nifty Options weekly strategy, low risk, very low margin requirements, and then constant one or two percent. Maybe we can be done with this double diagonal current as well. We are selling put and call options for the coming week and uh, far week. We take the hedge position on both sides. Completely risk defined. You know, um, reasonable prof probability of profit and then very wide range. Uh, as long as you look for one or two percent of profit per week, you can constantly get that from the double tackle equal spread. Risk is defined, that's the beauty of this, right? So, now wrapping up last week was a tracement and consolidation that happened after it met with the resistance. Following, um, um, you know, uh, that, and that hitting the resistance happened after an all previous week's all time high. Big moves, so the rally is now 90 20 percent. You know, on both indices after the breakout has happened from the cup and handle. So, that's a sum and substance of what happened last week. Now, Nifty has slipped the short term bump, bump the missing sideways. Operators is not bullish in a 0.62 kind of range, there's to be one above. FISO turns sellers after a long time, mm -hmm. so some danger signal, red signal there. Bollinger indicating contraction, no, no expansion upside is stopped, it's, it's consolidating sideways moves. All of this gives viewers hope that most of can happen. More tracement is possible because big breakout happened already. So, now, on the other side, short covering futures open to start on Friday on both indices. You know, which is falling, and the price also is falling, which is deviant, which is variant, variance that you can see. So, it's indicated the market may eventually move up. You know, Nifty maintaining the short term momentum and uh, zero, no change, and you know, clear in the bull zones. In the, Moment with the trend on the medium term, right? The price is bouncing on the 20 expansion moving average. It's taking the support there, change volatility bounce up more can continue. Those markets are green. These are all factors that gives bulls the hop. So it's hardly, it's, it's very hard to predict what happens next week. It could be either way. More definitely, it's a bull rally that's happening, but retracements uh, could extend or may uh, stop at this and then continue with the rally more before major corrections come in. But you never know what is going to happen. Both of course, because it's at the support zone, it does bounce up. It is all these factors that we discuss on both sides, bulls and bears, both. So big moves near the big rounding numbers like twenty thousand. You no, know, our profit booking zones here. We're cautious about that. Retracement could extend further, but is it going below that uh, Fibonacci levels? Is what we have to be cautious about. Otherwise, things are fine. Right from the long, from the medium term perspective. If you're trading the short term, we just try to follow the price actions and you know the momentum. So the market view for next week remains mild, bearish, uh, with a big neutral bias as well because consolidation is very much evident on the charts. Other global Russian fears, inflation, interest rate, tax rate, well, all these things are still there. So, you no know, momentum is that which is at a very dangerous spot of very low historic low of 10.1, which is crazy. So, any spice could be dangerous. We have to process about that once again. Crude is fine, but it's rising up as a concern. Both remains weak, has been a concern forever. And range for the next week is 19,200 to 20,000 to the nifty and 44,547,000 on the bank to the upside, down, on the downside, um, on the upside and downside basically on the nifty, yes, 19,000 and 44,000 if they are kept intact in this consolidation things are fine. But if that breaches then we have trouble ahead, you know, we have more corrections and then you know, the bull rally may be uh, uh, indicating a reverse as well, very watchful and very careful when you are doing trading with derivative instruments and options especially right so how always have hedge positions always define your risk so that black swans won't take on take out all of your, your your capital right you can still be in the game if you are going for non-directional strategies with hedges completely risk to strategies you'll still be in the game 
as productive capital and manage your risk and portion size accordingly as per the how the market uh, you know, the volatility is happening so if you do that you can still be in the game and then when the things settle down you will eventually be profitable so, so that's what my view is my bearish view remains uh, neutral view but uh, hopes on both sides of bulls and bulls anything could happen you can frame your view based on all these facts and then you can have a different there's absolutely no but stick to your view and then play the game that's what it is about so yeah please subscribe if you're not subscribed if, if you like the content if you I hope that this has brought in some clarity in your trading plan for the next week. You're not blank before you go and trade the next Monday. You have an idea, you have a plan, have a view, and then uh, play accordingly. There are a lot of other videos uh, in the playlist which are not the daily market analysis, which are option strategy videos, option risk management videos, a lot of that. Check out that and then subscribe, you know, subscribe to the channel and share to your friends and colleagues. We have very few subscribers. I appreciate help. This you can also have the premium. Subscription services from the Telegram if you want. There are short screen media posting that happens mid of the week every day. Multiple charts and technical analysis. Inputs can be found, content can be found on all these channels. Subscribe to these and uh, support us. Thanks for watching. Happy trading, happy learning, happy investing. Bye bye.